Yeah, why you see the designs that are on the underside of this thing. It's At the Pima Air and Space Museum in Tucson, Arizona, color shocks the desert landscape. This is the Boneyard Project, outside the salvage yard for retired military aircraft. There's paintings inside of this painting right here. Eric Firestone commissioned muralist and graffiti artists to turn abandoned planes into works of art. These particular artists that are the first group of artists that worked on the planes uh, come from a movement and a genre that um, their work is on the streets a lot, not just in galleries or in the museum world, but it, it's art for the people. This project is giving the public a new way of looking at old military aircraft, such as this marine transport plane, and enveloping the viewer in massive displays of color, design, and shape. It was a whole ecosystem based The exhibit is more than just planes. Artist Daniel Diaz used religious imagery on this Vietnam-era cluster bomb to push the viewer to think about mortality. When I had this bomb in my studio and I, and I, it was just standing there, it just looked so beautiful. It just had this gracefulness and peacefulness to it. So it was, a, it was an interesting dichotomy because here's this peaceful object that is designed for destruction. Firestone says the artists are personalizing what he calls the cold machines of war. You know, and I think different different types of social uh, strain, you see messages that are brought out. This is a way for, the, for them to speak. At a time of conflict in many parts of the world, in this quiet desert, these artists want their work to speak to the ongoing human struggle to resolve them. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Tucson, Arizona.